Hey there! Once again, I always have to turn you guys up because I always turn it down. It's Kristen here. It is day 51 of my weight loss journey and I am feeling better. <laughs> Not 100% better, but better. Um, I'm excited about Relay tomorrow. Um, I did Relay five years ago actually with my bestie and we're doing it again. Um, the, she had a um, group last, or last time and this time she's doing it with um, the local cancer center that she goes to um, for her platelets and such and um, asked me to come along. I invited my daughter to come along so it can be kind of like a mother-daughter bonding thing. She's going to help me with photography because I am the group's photographer, um, which is cool. Uh, I'm super excited, but at the same time, like I said before, I'm really anxious at the same time because it's only been not even close. Well, It'll be two years in August since I lost my dad. It's very raw. It's still very hard to deal with. It's still um, very real feeling. So uh, just talking about it makes me teary. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of waterworks tomorrow, which is good. Um, I've made a vow to myself that anybody that wears the colon cancer awareness ribbon, which is blue, um, that I will be giving them a hug and uh, as well as skin cancer and just the cancers that have touched my life. And um, I, I think, God, uh, stop it. Nobody wants to watch you sit here and cry. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, it, it's <sighs> Relay for Life, if you have never done it, do it. Um, even if you don't raise any money, even if you just find a group and, you know, you like the name and you're just like, I'm going to be a part of your group. Hi. Um, because they welcome you. It, just to be there is an awe-inspiring, it, it's just awe-inspiring. Um, I went, um, like I said, five years ago with my two best friends and um, we were part of, it was called Kiki Nass. If you put it together, it's kicking ass. Um, that was the name of my besties group. And we had such an amazing time. The pictures that I, I still, I lost a lot of them when my external died. Um, so I have to ask my friend to get them back to me so I can have copies. But I just have so many random, like, people holding hands, shots, the back of t-shirts. Because they have a, a t-shirt contest and it's just so awesome. Um... And yeah, it's, it's just when they do the survivor's lap, everybody that is a survivor gets a purple t-shirt. And I always go up into the, cause it's at a high school stadium. So I always go up to the top of the stairs and I try to get the panoramic view of the entire field. Um, I'm getting chills talking about it. When I was there in 2010, the entire thing was full of survivors and it just it gives you hope I used to be scared of cancer scared to death like just I've had precancer cells and it is the scariest thing to have to face or think of and I lost like I've said I've lost so many people in my life to cancer and I still don't want it. I still want nothing to do with it. Um, but it gives you a hope to know that there are so many survivors, even more today than there were five years ago. And it gives you hope that we are going to find a cure. There is going to come a cure. And in my heart of hearts, you won the race, whether you're in remission, whether you've you know been cured, or even if you pass away and are in heaven, to me, you're still a winner because you weren't defeated by this. It might have taken your life, but now you're free. So if that makes any sense to anybody, um, I guess this is not going to be a weight loss. I'll make another weight loss thing. This is going to be a cancer thing. Um, so that's a beautiful thing. The the survivor's walk and then they have a survivor's dinner and to everybody wears I'm a survivor and you can put what kind of cancer it is and then so many years there was 
uh, I, he couldn't have been more than 45, 50 years old. He wasn't much older than I am. And he had survivor of 45 years. He had been cancer free at that time for 45 years, which means he was just a kid. And just to know, just to see him and know, like it just, it oh, it just gives you so much hope. And then when you see the caretakers and everybody is so loving because we've all walked that journey together. We know what it's like to hear those words, to put the word cancer to a face and to take care of somebody. I'm going to be a basket case tomorrow. I'm just warning everybody that's going to be there. Um, anybody that's had to take care of a cancer patient, it can be hell. I'm not going to mince words. But it also can be the most endearing, compassionate, loving time of your life, too. Um, with my stepdad. It was rather fast. He got sick in May. Became uh, his he was, had excruciating pain in his knee, and they couldn't figure it out. Couldn't figure it out. It wasn't arthritis. It wasn't this. It wasn't that. Couldn't figure it out. All of his blood work was okay. Finally, I guess it was in June. I think it was in June. He went in for a PET scan. They're like, okay, well, if it's cancer, it's going to show up on this scan. And sure enough, there were spots on his spine, on his legs, and there was a few on some of his vital organs, but they couldn't tell where it began. Well, a year and a half before that, he had a mole right here on the side of his face. I mean, it was pretty big. And it had been there since my mom and him got together, and nobody ever thought two shakes about it. Finally, he saw a doctor, and the doctor was like, what's that? Have you ever had that looked at? And he's like, no, nobody said anything to me. He's like, well, I, I want to get that looked at. And sure enough, it was melanoma. And I think it was way too, too. They said that they got it all because um, he had surgery to, to take it off. But they, And they said that they got it all. But I think it was, I think it was too far gone at that time. But I also think that there's a lot of cases, and this is just my personal opinion. So please don't hate me for what I'm going to say. Um, in that situation, I believe that as soon as that cancer got air, it went like wildfire. Um, because within a year and a half, it was in his spine. Like I said, it was on his spine. It was on his knee. It was it was all throughout him in just different spots. But they just didn't know primary what that metastasized. And it was primary melanoma that had metastasized to everywhere. And at the very end, it went to his brain. And if anybody has ever gone or watched anybody go through brain cancer, it's very, if it's the aggressive kind, and most of them are not, most of them are slow growing. This one was extremely aggressive. Um, within days, my stepdad was in the emergency room, uh, which was the first time he ever told me in 27 years that he loved me. And uh, that's what I said. Sometimes it's a beautiful thing. Um, but, uh, he went into the hospital within three days. It was in his brain. The scan before, like just days before there was nothing. And within three days it was in his brain. He couldn't talk. He couldn't eat. He just moaned. He would open his eyes and the look on his face was just like, help me. He was in his own hell and it was just hard. Um, we brought him home on a Saturday and he died on Wednesday and it was peaceful and we were there, and I don't regret a single thing. My dad got diagnosed in May. Um, of uh, 2011, right before I was getting married. And uh, unfortunately, he had started chemo, and and he wasn't able to walk me down the aisle, and. Uh, he fought like hell. In the end, he was so, uh, I don't want to say infantile, but the way he talked, 
my dad had a very deep voice, very stern voice when he wanted to be, and had a laugh that just carried through rooms. And in the very end, I talked to him on Friday. He passed away on Sunday. And on Friday, he's like, Hi, pumpkin. I love pumpkin. Very childlike. And as hard as it was to hear this strong man be brought down to a childlike state, it was endearing. It was endearing to hear him like that and to be, he was carefree at the end. He didn't, he, he knew, he, he knew, he knew my dad was such a planner. I think he and God had this whole thing worked out. Like, okay, well, God, let me just tell you that you're not taking me before this date. Cause I swear he knew. But anyway, um, so yeah. And I lost my, one of my best friends when she was 16 to cancer. And my aunt was bone cancer and just my ex-father-in-law and my ex-mother-in-law, she battled it and won thyroid cancer. And I have a friend now that's dealing with, uh, brain cancer. She named her tumor Lloyd, and uh, he's been quiet for a while, and now he decided to rear his ugly head. But she's a strong girl, and I know she's going to keep fighting. So, But it sucks. But I think my dad's attitude is what got him as far as it got him. Because when he was diagnosed, they said maybe five years, typically a year to two. And he was at two and a half years, almost three years, when... He died. He fought with everything he had. And I applaud anybody that fights like that. I just do. Um, so anyway, now that I just talked about that, this is the t-shirt that we got. I wear the red ribbon for my hero, support, advocate, and cure. Um, the red ribbon is for so many different things, but um, this one, the white and the red, is for aplastic anemia which is what my bestie has and um, been fighting for 23 years of her life and is looking at a really rough road ahead of her. Um, as I said in my vlog last night, which I'm not going to go there because I'll cry again. Um, and then this is what I put on the back of it. I walk for daddy, colon cancer, 8-18-13, and my bestie, survivor. So there you guys go. So think of us tomorrow as we're walking. It's supposed to be 92 degrees and like 75 percent whatever the dew point supposed to be like 75 percent or something ridiculously it's like we're already in an orange code which means if you have any type of lung issues you shouldn't be outside i'm like that's good for cancer patients um but i know that field's still going to be full of people um i just pray that my daughter takes this in a positive light and helps her with maybe some healing i know when she lost my dad it was really hard because he was her best friend so I just pray for healing and uplifting and just a really great safe time and uh, like I said if you're interested go to relateforlife.org um, or is it .com uh, one or the other and look at where there are in your area I know we have one two four five five relays within the next three months in my area so or six I don't know there's like probably ten actually I'm just lying um, but check it out it's so it's so worth it. It's so eye-opening, breathtaking, emotional, beautiful. I can't say enough about it. It's a great organization and it's real. So check it out. Thanks so much for watching and I will do a weight loss blog next. <laughs> Bye guys.